kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Honolulu Desperados here on Madden 24. We are entering season number nine playoffs. This is a big one. We haven't won a championship in a couple of seasons, so we need to get a championship now because we've got a veteran, somewhat of a veteran quarterback in Jonathan Young. He's not the young, fresh meat rookie that he was when he won his first championship, but he hasn't won one since. He's a few years older. He's a little bit more grizzled, a little bit more experienced. We need to get him another championship so we can feel confident that we made the right decision getting rid of Anthony Richardson. It's a big one. It's a big, big episode. This video is the entirety of the playoffs. So whether we lose in, in round one in the divisional round or we go all the way to the Super Bowl and win it and anything in between, you guys will know by the timestamp. I don't obviously know, but however long the video is on the timestamp of the video is how good we did in the playoffs. Hopefully it's all the way to the Super Bowl and winning it. That is the overall goal to continue this dynasty that we are trying to build. We have currently three championships, two with Anthony Richardson, then he went to Cleveland because we couldn't pay him, and we ended up playing Anthony Richardson and the Cleveland Browns in the Super Bowl that next season with our new quarterback, Jonathan Young. We ended up beating them, and we have our third championship. So we need to win more. Three championships in nine years is not necessarily a bad thing, but we need to win more. We have higher expectations. We've shown the fans of Honolulu winning culture. We need to keep showing them that, or they're going to start to get restless. So without further ado, it's time for the playoffs. This is a big one. We need to win. If you guys go and enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and let's get this playoff run underway. Here we are in Honolulu. We were the number one seed. So we got the, the buy in the playoffs against the Commanders. This is what the playoff bracket looks like. It is the Chiefs and the Bengals, the Raiders and the Browns, us and the Commanders, and the Cowboys and the Buccaneers. So that is your playoff bracket for right now. Hopefully it ends with us winning a championship. This is your team. You should be pretty familiar with the team by now. Obviously we've got the, uh, the young stud, Jonathan Young. He's 24 years old, already has a championship, but he's grizzled. He's been around. He's seen some things. We've got some great young receivers in Lynn Lashley, uh, Clayton Mahan, and Britton. So we're looking pretty good there. Offensive line's very good. Running back, obviously, is phenomenal with Bijan. And then the defense, I like to see it. I like to see it. I really hope that Booth goes up to star. I really hope that we get some more development from our corners, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what else I want to see. Maybe Downing go up to X-Factor. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, maybe Herrera goes up to X-Factor. He had a really good season. It's possible. But we have a good enough team to win a championship. We just got to go out there and actually do it. So it's commander's time here in the playoffs. Divisional round. All we got to do is win. Just win, baby. It's as simple as that. There's no sugarcoating it. There's no crazy things we have to do. Just win. That's all we got to do. It's not a simple thing. You just It's not a hard thing to, to comprehend. We just got to go out there and get the job done. We're the better team. We should go and do it. I'm pretty sure... The Commanders are still rocking with Sam Howell at quarterback, so it seems like he's developed into quite the quite the player, and he's gotten them all the way to the playoffs as a divisional team through the wild card and here against us. I'm just hoping that that's as far as it goes. That's a jump pass! Oh my god, Jonathan Young almost had myself out of my shoes. I'm not even wearing shoes, but that would have been insanity. That was a jump pass to Devontae Smith. If he would have connected on that, I might have creamed. That would have been amazing. We'll take our three points. We'll let the CPU handle a little bit of business here. 10 nothing. Defense is holding strong against Washington. But the divisional round's never been a problem for us, really. We've always kind of breezed our way through until we get to the championship game. That's when we've kind of struggled. It's either been the Detroit Lions or the San Francisco 49ers. Those have been the problems that we faced... Uh, in this series when we haven't won championships. It's because of those couple teams that have really given us uh, fits in postseason play in the championship games. And Pat Fryermuth, the veteran, still making big money moves. That's a big time catch. And we're going to try to put this one in the back of the end zone. Pretty much ice this one with two minutes to go. 
if we score a touchdown, that would pretty much seal the deal. That's going to be to Lynn Lashley, big time first down. That'll take us to the two minute warning. Should we run this ball with Bijan? Maybe. Maybe we could run with Bijan. I mean, Bijan is the leading touchdown getter in Desperado history by a large margin because he's been the running back for the nine seasons. So, of course, he's going to be. And he's got another playoff touchdown added to the list. Bijan Robinson puts us on the board 31 to 10, and that is going to be the ball game. Quick and simple. That's how you like to see it. We move to the NFC title game. We mean business this season. We are on a, a revenge tour to get our championship that we haven't gotten in a couple of years now. These these Honolulu fans, they're fiending for a championship. We we showed them, we gave them a taste of, of what it is to be a winning culture with three straight titles. And then we go and we just take that away after a couple of years. We can't do that. But now we've got the Cowboys in the divisional or in the championship game. Oh, this is going to be difficult. But I believe in the boys. I believe we can get it done. Let's go and do it. I'm not quite sure who the Dallas Cowboy quarterback is at this point. It's certainly not Dak Prescott. When I was loading in, uh, it was that was not Dak who it was. I wouldn't think so. We're nine seasons in, and he's already, I think, in his 30s in real life. So let's take a look at who this Dallas Cowboy quarterback is. It is Garrett McCarron. It looks like he was in the same draft class as Jonathan Young because they both have three years of experience. So 87 overall to a 97 overall, I think we got the better quarterback. Very interesting. I, that's how how random is it that both these teams drafted a quarterback four seasons ago, and now they're playing each other in the NFC title game. I guess that's the dream, and that's a beautiful throw to Pat Firemuth for a touchdown. I guess that's the dream. He draft a quarterback, and then he takes to the to the NFC Championship game a few years later. But the defense needs to step up because Dallas scores again. Can we score again, please? There we go. 14 to 14. Come on. Oh, Dallas gets another touchdown, but we get one back. And we get ahead. Finally, we take the advantage. But Dallas scores again. Man, this Dallas team is tough. We knew it was going to be the case when we played them. We knew Dallas was going to be a tough team. They were not going to be a cakewalk. Third and five. It's tied at 28. Late fourth quarter. Got to go to Lynn Lashley. He's the future of the team. At least on the weapons side of things. We got to score a touchdown here. We've got all the time in the world. They're giving me the keys. Second and six. Three minutes to go, all of the timeouts, and a B. John Robinson under uh, or behind center to, to snap this ball to and hand him off and, and give him a bunch of yards. Third and two, we're going to give it to Bijan one more time. I believe in B. John Robinson. I believed in B. John Robinson. I guess I shouldn't have believed in the, the freaking uh, offensive line because that didn't go very well. But we do kick the field goal, so we're able to take a little bit of a lead over the, the Cowboys. They're driving. They've scored again a field goal. It's 31-31 with 25 seconds. Can we get to field goal range to drill it? To send us to the Super Bowl. We got to get there. That's a drop. I thought it was going to be a big catch. Daniel Carlson needs the 40-yard line. Bare minimum to get him into spots. They want us with 20 seconds to run the football. They want us to, to give up. I can't in good conscience give up on a chance for a championship oh my god that ball how did that not get anywhere that's crazy how did that ball not get to the the receiver the intended receiver i can't believe it didn't third and ten do we trust the rookie clayton mahan the rookie catches the ball the rookie catches the ball Clayton Mahan, it's a 60-yard field goal with 10 seconds remaining. I can't believe we trusted the rookie and it paid off. It paid dividends. Devontae Smith, aggressive catch, field goal range. I cannot believe that we actually did it. It's a 40-yard field goal for Daniel Carlson. They're going to ice me. To send us... To the championship. Oh, I might have missed it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oops. I hate myself. I really do. I hate myself, bro. 
How in the world did I screw that up? Why am I so bad at extra points and field goals in general? Oh, Lynn Lashley, great catch. The Young Bucks are making the big plays. Mahan, the rookie, and Young, La uh, La Young Lashley's making some big-time plays. They're going to review it. I think he had both feet down. Oh, they're going to overturn it? Are you serious? I could have sworn he had both feet down. One and two. That foot is down before... That foot is down before it slides to the grass, to the, to the white grass. Oh my god, I got robbed. I got physically and emotionally robbed by the referees there. It's the, the fix is in. They want the Cowboys to win the championship. Clayton Mahan, oh my god, this dude is unbelievable. That's another big catch that he makes. Clayton Mahan is a freak. An absolute utter freak. I think next score wins, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have stepped up and ran there. I thought that I had more room than I did, actually. I can't just keep going verticals. That's not the good that's not a good thing. Lynn Lashley. A lot of blocks from the receivers. Lynn Lashley down the field. Good blocks from Mahan and Devontae Smith. That was huge. I can't believe I missed that, that field goal, bro. It wasn't even that difficult. I just pressed it too early because I'm stupid. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. That's so crazy. It wasn't even a difficult field goal to hit. I just missed it for some reason. Oh, I'm in big trouble here. Oh, that's a risky throw! Stackhouse. It was never really going to be his idea or his catch, was it? Third and nine. Do we trust the rookie one more time? Clayton Mahan, he's made two big catches. No, we trust Lynn Lashley. End zone, almost. A little bit more on that ball and it could have been a huge one. And you know what? I'm not taking it this time. We got it. I'm not risking losing. I don't care. We are going to the Super Bowl for the first time since we won the championship a couple of years ago. That was way more difficult and way more stressful than it needed to be. If we would have just won that game, by if I would have just made that, that field goal at the end of the game, we wouldn't have even had to go to overtime and I wouldn't have had to stress. But it doesn't matter. We ended up, If we would have lost that game because of my missed field goal, oh, I would have been steaming. I would have been so mad. And we will play the Cleveland Browns again. Anthony Richardson has gotten to the Super Bowl to face his former team for the second time. The last... Clayton Mahan's a stud. The last time we played the Browns in the Super Bowl, we beat them. That was Jonathan Young's rookie year. I can't believe it's, it's made it this far again. We are back in the championship game against Anthony Richardson, our former quarterback. He's still an X-Factor. He's still 99 overall. But this is what we play for. A championship. One more game, and it just so happens to be against our former quarterback. We are one win away from glory here in the Super Bowl against our former quarterback, Anthony Richardson. It's 3-0. We're looking to take advantage here. They want me to jump in and kick a field goal. I thought that they were going to let me go for it, but... I'm just going to let them kick another field goal here. Six to nothing first quarter. Richardson can't really do much right now, but he puts a touchdown in. But we put a touchdown in, 13, but then they put a field goal in. 13 to 10 from the eight yard line. We got to go Clayton Mahan or Lynn Lashley, probably. The two young studs, the next generation. Mahan, end zone, touchdown, Desperados. This man is becoming not only a playoff legend, but a Desperado legend. They will be writing folklore songs about Clayton Mahan in the future. 20 to 10. Richardson has nothing in the tank. He's too old. 27 to 10. He can't get it done. And we win the Super Bowl. The Honolulu Desperados are back on top as Super Bowl champions. I can't actually believe that we did it Anthony Richardson is now 0 for 2 against us in Super Bowl games 
His Super Bowl record is now 2-2. Two and two. I can't believe we're back on top. Jonathan Young's got another title to his name. We did it, boys. We got back to the glory land. We did it. World champions for the fourth time in franchise history. Four titles in nine years. That, my friends, is a dynasty. Four titles in nine years. And we're getting to the 10-year mark where we've been a franchise for 10 seasons. Could we go five for 10? Is that even freaking possible? That'd be pretty awesome. But the Desperados are world champions. One more time, we get the contract extended. I kind of feel bad for Anthony Richardson at this point. He signed with the, the, Brown, the Browns thinking he could win some more titles, but he's not getting lucky. He's coming up against some amazing, talented players, his former teammates, and he's, he's just getting, unfortunately, very unlucky. Bijan gets Super Bowl MVP, our fourth title in nine years. Uh, Mahomes gets MVP of the league. Doug Peterson, coach of the year. CeeDee Lamb and... Who would you else expect? Micah Parsons as the Defensive Player of the Year. Josh Gresham, wide receiver for the Bengals, is the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And Tyquan Rogers, defensive end for the Cowboys, is Defensive Rookie of the Year. We get another championship. It had been two seasons since we got it. That was two seasons too long. But look at that. Three in a row. And then we wait a couple of seasons. And then we get another one. Four titles as a franchise, I'll say that is pretty awesome. Now, who knows what's going to be the, the fate of the team in free agency and in the offseason. That's for the next episode. I'm kind of scared to even go to the offseason because we could be losing a lot of people that we have come to know and love, like Micah Parsons. But we still have a good season. We win the championship here in year nine. Oh, baby. I'm so happy we got it done. If you enjoyed the episode, leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. Thank you so much. Stop by and watch. I truly appreciate it. The Desperados are champions for the fourth time. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.